Okay, so we have six participants from different parts of Nigeria. Uh, I want you all to really tell me your location and where you are so that I can know where you're charging from. You can just send it as a chat, send it as a chat and let us let us um, know. Okay, so let's let's kick off. Let's kick off the ABC of cryptocurrency. I start with this quote. According to Henry Ford, it is well that the people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. For if they did, uh, there will be a revolution before tomorrow morning. And I want you all to know, according to what I said in 2016, that cryptocurrency will do to banks what email did to postal service. Once again, I'm going to introduce myself once again. 2016, I came into the cryptocurrency space, and um, all I knew then, uh, through a friend of mine, was about cryptocurrency. I was just saying this was about cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency. What's this thing all about? So um, I went into further inquiries, and then on, I took off my learning process. I, I got a man called Andras Antonopoulos, and Andras began to, uh, I listened, to, I watched a video called Introduction to Bitcoin. And all I got in that video was revolutionary. And bet you, I did not turn my back. The next thing I did was to invest all the money I have in my bank account that day, and I bought my first cryptocurrency. And to date, uh, by the reason of that action, I got Bitcoin around sub $600. By the reason of that action, till today, I've been able to pioneer a company, a startup that is mm, like uh, among the first kinds of um, blockchain startup in Nigeria. Today we have Crypto Hub, we have uh, Crypto Life Capital, we have trained over 200 students learning cryptocurrency trading and investment via our platform. And that's why you are here today, to learn, just like I learned the other day. And I want to quickly show you how you can change your life with this radical information, with this transformative information. Let me tell you guys something. Um, it, it is... The era we are in now is what we call a knowledge economy. It is what you know that can transform your life. It is information itself that leads to transformation. So quickly tonight, we're going to be sharing on the big opportunity, the history of money. What is cryptocurrency? What is centralized and decentralization? How cryptocurrency works and how you can create wealth using cryptocurrency. So let's go with the first one. Let me what I want to introduce you is like the biggest opportunity so far in the world. Something you can do right from your home. Something you can sit down in, your, in, in the comfort of your house or anywhere you are. You don't even need to leave your nine to five job to do this. It can become something like a side income for you or a full-time business for you. Now, remember that opportunity is always based on time, and time gone is opportunity gone. So have you ever wished you were among those who invested in Google in the early days, those who invested in, in, in Facebook in the early days, or those who invested in Amazon in the early days? Now, this is your chance to be part of the next big thing after the internet. It's called the blockchain revolution. Now, I want to introduce you first to the world of cryptocurrency and the first thing i'm going to teach you first tonight is what we call the history of money what is money uh we're going to understand how money came into existence how people used to trade things when there was no money how people used to buy things what were they using to buy things and all those things like that so let's go back to 10,000 bc at that time people used to buy follow what they call trade by butter system and the trade by butter system you know what it means. You, you, but you have salt, I need sugar, we exchange it. But there was a problem with that system. It was There was wrong evaluation of commodity. There used to be long distance trade and all those things. You can't easily divide the commodity you want to buy. So all these things were limitations that uh, we faced in um, the trade by butter system or our forefathers faced in the trade by butter system. Next one, we move to metallic money. From metallic money, from metallic money, we entered what we call uh, well, introduction of gold, silver, copper, bronze. And these things were taken as metallic money. People started using these metals as medium of exchange. You know, uh, they began to use this thing as medium of exchange. And from then on, uh, people saw this thing and moved on to paper money. From paper money, uh, what happened was that people were using gold, bond, gold as bonds. And then on, we moved on to paper money. 
which is the one you know today, your Naira, your dollars, as you have it today. The real time we had the money was what we call um, uh, big, um, what, what I call um, gold. Now, from paper money, we moved to plastic money. Now, in plastic money, with advancing technology, plastic money came into existence. Banks started offering plastic cards, credit cards. Cash could be easily carried. Withdrawal of cash could be made with plastic cards. You know, plastic cards, your ATM, which you already know. Now, we moved on to that aspect. And next on, we move on to electronic money. In electronic money, we have things like PayPal. PayPal, Payza. These were all kind of electronic web money. Transactions are carried out electronically, easier to use it in any part of the world. And from then on, the next thing we moved on to was what we call, now look at, after all this era, 1999, a man called Nick Zabo released what they call a bit gold paper. And from that paper, Satoshi Nakamoto began to study from 1999. And in 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto released what we call Bitcoin. Now, this is now the era of money we are in. There are three eras of currency, commodity-based, politically-based, and now mass-based. Now, um, this was written by a man called Chris Dixon, a technology investor. Now, um, think about it. There was a time when you and I, I, when, I when I used to be in, in Lagos here, um, there was a particular time when I used to go to school then, secondary school, as a junior secondary school student, we used to read complete sports. And we'll go to the stand in the bus stop to read, uh, all I call it, newspaper. You know, you know then you, you, you were not having full access to mobile phones. But from newspaper, uh, there was a time it was, you, you, we could read news also from newspaper and television. And you, you, you can imagine the big, those big TVs our parents used to have where you can even live inside the TV. <laughs> and now with our mobile phones, you can do business. You can you can you can get any news anywhere in the world. You can you can get news anywhere in the world. It's so so interesting. Now that aside, uh, we we imagine when it used to be letter that used to be transmitted to someone from Jolegba or from Lagos to uh, what we call them um, from Lagos to. Uh, um, from Lagos to Kano, like that. Now, moved on to fax, from fax, it's now email. With as simple as this, I can send an email, just composing an email like this to whoever I'm sending it to at yahoo.com or at gmail.com. And once I send the email, the person receives it immediately. That's interesting. Now, that's how the world has gone. Now, uh, let, let's, let's go to the next one. Now. Imagine it for paper money. Imagine the same thing for money. From paper money, plastic card, and now the next big thing, cryptocurrency, e.g. Bitcoin. Now, with that, with that, um, one of the things you must know if you're going to understand cryptocurrency is first of all, you, you must understand the history of money, like I said. And you must also know that this is where the future is going to. You must also understand that this is where the future is going. Now, this is what Bill Gates said. He said, and the future of money is digital currency. This is Bill Gates talking. And we've seen different in, uh, uh, investors talk about the future of cryptocurrency. So what is cryptocurrency? Um, let me fix this. Okay. So what is cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency is a digitally created currency based on advanced mathematical algorithm that uses cryptography for security and anti-counterfeiting measures. Now, take the word crypto. That is something encrypted, secured, then currency, money. So crypto, encrypted. Encrypted encryption there is secure, secured money. So if it is crypto and currency means money. So cryptocurrency is secured money. Grab that. It's as simple as that. Secured money. The main purpose for cryptocurrency is that we should have security 
and anti-counterfeiting uh, 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 measures. We should have security and anti-counterfeiting measures, meaning that, um, meaning that in crypto, you can't duplicate the same money I have. I can, somebody can produce a fake Naira, but you can produce a fake Bitcoin. Somebody can produce a fake dollar, but you can produce a fake Bitcoin. And it is encrypted and secured. Now, um, so next on, we move to uh, the advantages. What are the things that we, why, why cryptocurrency? Before you can understand that, you must first understand that there are two systems uh, that currently exist. And these two systems will make you appreciate the power of cryptocurrency. One of those systems enslaves you. One of those systems limits your purchasing power. The other one gives you freedom and it is deflationary and also helps money to have value. Now, um, centralized system, e.g. IMF, e.g. CBN, these are examples of centralized systems. Now, decentralized system, a centralized system, e.g. NEPA. NEPA is a centralized system because um, they dictate how energy is calculated for you and what you spend, what you even use. So next we have decentralization. Decentralized system is a system where independence takes place. You are out of any one control. Decentralization is the process of redistributing or dispersing functions, powers, people or things away from the central location. The solar energy makes it possible for you to use light anywhere any any time okay and you don't depend on any central authority very very important you don't depend on any central authority now that's that for uh, solar energy now it means that if i install solar my solar system i can determine the amount of money i am paying and i'm off government control that's the way it is and this decentralization can be applied to any part of the sector or any sector of the economy. It can be applied to any sector of the economy. Now, interestingly, so many of us don't understand that the current financial system in the world, the current financial system in the world cannot cater for the innovations going on globally. So what do we do? That's why cryptocurrency has come. Because imagine a world where there are over, se over 7 billion people in the world today and over 2 billion people don't have access to a bank account. Do you know in Nigeria today, we have more than, more than, more than 20 million people, 40 million people who don't even have access to bank accounts. Some are in the remote areas. And guess what? Some of these people in India, in China, in third world nations, in developing nations, even in America, most of them have access to even a mobile phone. Most of them have access to Facebook. And you know, Facebook gives free internet plan to developing nations and to third world nations. Even in India, Facebook has Facebook free internet program like that. Now, these people, it would be expensive to have a bank building. Facebook doesn't have a bank, doesn't have a hub in Lagos or in some of these countries. But in the central location they are, they can share data and information and everything globally. Now, these things, imagine that, picture that. Now, if I can send information, email, over the internet, free of charge, or very cheap, then the same thing should do for money. What the internet did was to allow for free flow of information. What cryptocurrency is doing now is that cryptocurrencies allow for the free flow of value, monetary value, over the internet, different parts of the world without any restriction. Now, that's a big breakthrough. That's a big innovation. That's a big applause. Now, uh, next, next on, next on uh, let's quickly look at uh, what some technology investors are, is, are saying concerning cryptocurrency. The wink, the wink level still said, uh, we've elected to put our money and faith in mathematical framework that is free of politics and human error. Now, let's quickly go, let's quickly go to this. 
advantages of cryptocurrency. Built-in scarcity supports the value. For instance, Bitcoin, there will only be 21 million Bitcoin till the last Bitcoin will be produced. Meaning that when something is scarce, the value will tend to increase. That's why Bitcoin has risen from where it was at $0.001 in 2008 to over $8,000 that even touched 19,000 US dollars in December before the market correction. Now, precious metals, they, these things offer inflation protection unavailable to fiat currency users. Cryptocurrency also provides a offer a reliable means of exchange outside the control of national banks. Next, we also know that cryptocurrency has what we call robust privacy protection. Do you know, because money is encrypted, the government can't spy on you when you're using cryptocurrency, except you are the one going to tell them, you know. Uh, Next, it is other for government to exact financial retribution. Let me explain what this means. It means that the government can seize your account. It means that the government cannot freeze your account. Your, 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 your bank account can be frozen, or your Bitcoin can be frozen. Your Bitcoin can be, can be seized. Your cryptocurrency can be locked. The government doesn't have direct access or control over it while it is encrypted. It is secured. It is a bit, you know, these things makes it very, very, makes it a very big innovation. And the world is like, wow, we've never seen this kind before. Okay, so next of this kind, uh, it is also cheaper than electronic traditional systems. Do you know if you want to send money now, you know, if, if you want to send, if, if, you, if I want to save money now and, or use Visa to pay for Facebook ads, and PayPal, PayPal, there is censorship with PayPal. PayPal can lock your account tomorrow. PayPal can say Nigerians don't use PayPal. But in cryptocurrency, there's no racism. There's no country limits. There's no border transaction. There's no border, uh, there's borderless transaction. There's also cheap fees. You know, there are also few barriers and costs to international transactions. The other day in December, I sent 250 US dollars to some missionaries in South Africa. You know, it was easy for me like that. In my house, in, on my bed, I just took on my phone, dun, 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 I got the wallet address, and I sent $250 to a missionary down there in South Africa, and it was cheap. I, needed not, I did not need to go to a bank account. I, I, I don't need to go to a bank to send it. I didn't pay an extra fee to send that amount of money, and it didn't take three days. It was immediately. Now, there are different concepts you're going to learn about cryptocurrency. You're going to see things like blockchain, you see things like wallet, miners, and all those things. Now. Um, we'll come to that, but quickly, I'm sure some of you have uh, what we we'll call the the free ebook given to you today. Let me see if I if I can open it from here. Um, okay, so I'm sure you you've gotten your free ebook. All you need to do is go to the site and you see something come out, a pop-up, which I shared in the group. But if your own is not there, because I've subscribed, uh, what you just need to do is come down here, come down to this place, and put in your name, your email, and subscribe. And that will be given to you free of charge. So we are going to learn from the book right away. Quickly, so what is Bitcoin? That's what we're about to see here. What is Bitcoin? Um, okay. Uh, why that is interesting. So let me teach from here. Let me teach from the ebook directly. Uh, what is Bitcoin? Okay. So I'm just going to do a, a two minutes. So, um, Remember, once again, I'm the CEO of CryptoHub.club, and I'll help you, in this lesson, I want to help you understand the basics of Bitcoin, the basics. 2009, a man called Satoshi Nakamoto, a studio name, released Bitcoin to the public, and a group of enthusiastic supporters began exchanging and mining the currency. Bitcoin is different from any cash you have used before, hence it will be of much importance that you understand some key points. What is Bitcoin? It is the first decentralized digital currency. 
Bitcoins are digital coins you can send to the internet. Bitcoins, compared to other alternatives, Bitcoin has a number of advantages. Bitcoin can be transferred from person to person via the internet without going through a bank. I can use my phone and another phone and we send Bitcoin and we don't need to go to the bank. Bitcoin is permissionless, open source, censorship resistance, and it allows for community participation. Bitcoin fees are really low compared to credit card and Western Union money transfer. Western Union will take about seven days to transfer three days, but Bitcoin is and it's almost free. Now, there are other advantages of Bitcoin. You can use them anywhere in the world. I can take my Naira and I can't use my Naira in the US, but I can Bitcoin in anywhere in the world. Uh, who are these people now? Use your microphone so you don't disturb us. Thank you. Let me buy your tile. Mute, mute, mute your microphone. Mute it, please. If you don't mute it, I'm going to remove you from this meeting, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, so it is better to do business or receive payment in Bitcoin. 2000 and some years ago, the man called 50 Cent began to receive Bitcoin as payment. I'm going to teach you that on how to use it, how to create wealth to Bitcoin. Now, um, somebody's going to be asking now, so this Bitcoin, can how do I buy? It's as simple. There are several exchanges where you can buy and sell Bitcoin for Naira, dollar, or euro. Users can even swap cash for Bitcoin at the ATM, over the counter trade. You can store Bitcoin digitally on your mobile wallet or your hardware wallet. And you can purchase anything with Bitcoin. For example, on shop now, the you can buy goods and items with Bitcoin. Companies like Microsoft, Google, Namecheap, eBitcoin, they all accept Bitcoin. So what is Bitcoin doing? It is offering what we call unprecedented convenience and financial freedom. And it's changing the way people think. Bitcoin is changing finance the same way web change publishing. Now, this is what a quick summary about Bitcoin. More here, we'll see that Bitcoin has no CEO. Bitcoin is not owned by a bank. Bitcoin has no middleman. Bitcoin isn't paper money. It is, in a, it has, it is an international recognized cyber money. Bitcoins are made via Bitcoin mining. Software process that relies on solving mathematical processes. And Bitcoin is owned by no one. And that is that for the ABC of cryptocurrency. Now, let us look at the rise and rise of Bitcoin. Um, 2009, when Bitcoin was sold for 0 0.01. Now, this ebook, I'm, this, this ABC of cryptocurrency I'm reading out to you guys, I prepared this around December. As at then the back, the December 2016, 2016, yes. So um, Bitcoin price as at that day was now around $73. The guy wrote this and I've not edited it, I've not changed it. And I wrote, there are several predictions of Bitcoin to reach 3,000 in 2017 and $10,000 or even $1 million between 2018 to 2025. Who knows for the future is sure bright. Now, imagine if you had $100 in Bitcoin in 2009. In 2009, I lost money to stock markets. In 2009, I lost money to the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And today, 2016, I came to the cryptocurrency space. And what I have gained in a space of just two years has been amazing. And that's why today, when I see people, I tell them, hey, the best investment you can do for yourself is investing in cryptocurrency. So if you want to open a Bitcoin wallet, it's as simple as going to a website like, um, let me recommend some websites. You can choose Cryptstone. Cryptstone. Cryptstone.com. You can open Bitwala. Bitwala, you can open a wallet. And this is as easy as ABC. You can open a wallet with bitwala.com. You can open a wallet with Cryptstone and like that. 
and like that, you are good to go with your, uh, what would I call it, with your, um, your first move in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now, the big question is, how will I make money from cryptocurrency? There are different ways to make money from cryptocurrency. And that's the last session of this webinar. That's the last session of this webinar. Now, um, I'm going to do that in five minutes. Five minutes, and we will go to our WhatsApp group, and we can now raise questions, or I will send a new link for another 15 minutes, and we can go there and do business. So money-making strategies in Bitcoin. Who's, if, you're, if you don't mute your microphone, I will remove you from the group. Please, mute your system so you don't make noise. Thank you very much. Now, how do I create wealth with cryptocurrency? Number one, Bitcoin slash fiat trading. Let me, let me show you something. Um, okay. Interesting. Okay. Um, BTC. Okay. The price of Bitcoin as at now is around 8,005. Now, let me show you how you can create worlds with cryptocurrency. Number one. Bitcoin slash fiat trading, Naira trading. This is simple. Bola buys Bitcoin for 10,000, sells to Joe, sells it to Joe when Bitcoin is 12,000. Um, Mr. Alex is a banker that needs Bitcoin. Um, Ojo has Bitcoin. Okay, Bola has Bitcoin. You can sell to Mr. Alex with a 10 Naira difference in terms of exchange rates. So one may be selling for 350 and you say, okay, Mr. Alex, I have the same Bitcoin at 360. For the 10 Naira you gain on every $1, if you sell $10,000 out of Bitcoin, 10,000 times 10 is, is um, 100,000 Naira. And you've gained just commission for Bitcoin trading, not even for the real money, just commissions on trading. That's one. Number two, you can make money from airdrops. Probably when I, I, I can't go deep into that, but airdrops are like free coins they give. We, we have a group for that where we teach people, we give people procedures and airdrops. Most of our members are member, most of our members are there. We have things they call master node staking and mining. We have things called initial coin offering in crypto. Uh, we have affiliate network marketing programs. Then you can Accept Bitcoin as a means of payment for your services. If you are on a bar, like me, I've been receiving Bitcoin since 2016. People of my services, you must pay in Bitcoin. Most of my services, I receive money in Bitcoin. And next, you can provide technical service. If you're a programmer, you can learn blockchain technology and you make money from programming and running exchange trading platform, mining, wallet provision, and all that. Well, also, you can do education and mentorship business covering Bitcoin, like we do in, crypt in, in Crypto Hub. And next, you can go into cryptocurrency trading and investment, where you learn how to day trade, you learn how to swing trade, you learn how to short-term trade, you learn how to do long-term investment, and like all these things we see here in chat, and like that and like that so probably tomorrow or for second session uh i will show you have an overview not have an overview on how people can create wealth you see all these candlesticks here this is our called candlesticks this is our called charts people make money from this from the downtrend somebody buy here and selling at this junction over the over the night from thirty thousand to thirty eight thousand somebody has made clean twenty percent clean twenty percent like this you're good so that is what you also can make out of 
cryptocurrency, trading, and investment. Let me quickly use the remaining two minutes to talk about Crypto Hub and what we do. Uh, it's only interesting to know that one of the things that has made people lose in cryptocurrency, some of you might have had your friend who said, oh, this Bitcoin is a scam. This Bitcoin, I lost money. Yes, 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 yes. Many people have lost money. Same way many have become millionaires and have gained a lot. I'm shooting this right from my company's hub. And uh, maybe I should just do this. Um, you can see our training facility. Uh, this is just our hall. This is not my personal office. Um, now, look at this carefully. People have lost in cryptocurrency and people like us have gained so much in cryptocurrency. We've gained in trading, we've gained in, 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 in learning how to trade on our own and learning the basics and the things that matter more in cryptocurrency. Now, um, I have a video which I'm going to share the link where you can also watch other things I've been doing in cryptocurrency. Now, in, in, in Crypto Hub, what we do is that we are a system that educates you relevant knowledge about cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, and also creates wealth through cryptocurrency trading education. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we act as digital asset management and diversification programs, helping you to win in the cryptocurrency space. Now, this is our website. You can always come here to click here, click here, click here, and you learn something you want to learn. That's for free. You can get all these ones, learning them for free. Now, the next thing, We've achieved massive results when it comes to cryptocurrency. I want you to visit our website on your own. This hub, we have produced people who have earned hundreds of thousands. People who have earned hundreds of thousands. And I, I'm not talking about Naira. I'm talking about USD. We've seen people, you, you, you can see, let me look for, let me look for somebody now look at this. Dope gave me joy, gave me a profit of $189 in one trade. She used $276 and she made $187 in one trading, in one day trading. You can make 10% of your money in one day trading. But guess what? You can also lose that entire money if you don't know how to trade on your own. So one of the sweetest platforms or ways you can create wealth in cryptocurrency is by learning how to trade what we call bitcoins and altcoins on your own. In my group, we have a group where we have over 200 traders who are there. Last week, I told them, do you know you, if you bought, I gave them a signal, we gave them a signal buying Bitcoin at 84 and 86. Those who obeyed and sold the same Bitcoin at 9,006, 9,004 had an extra $1,000 gain in 24 hours. We've had students who started in crypto with 6,000 USD. And finally, in three weeks, in five weeks, in 20 weeks, in, in number of weeks, depending on how good you can learn. And they've turned the same money to 26,000 US dollars. Now, people lose in trading. Why? They don't care about education. When you take time and you invest in education properly, you are not supposed to be losing in cryptocurrency trading. You're supposed to be having more wins and become like me, Chris Allen, the leading thought leader for cryptocurrency education and blockchain technology in Nigeria. Now, this is why we are spreading the news and this is why we are running the adverts you're seeing so that people will not say they are losing money on cryptocurrency. And that's why if you are in Lagos, Come April, the first of its kind, cryptocurrency trading and investment masterclass will be holding, and I want to be a part of it. Now, quickly, quickly, I'm going to send a new link now to the group, to the, to the WhatsApp group. I'm going to send a new link now to all of us, and this is what you will do. You will join that new link, and we're going to have what we call the second session. So for the next, just give me three minutes. I'm just going to compile something, make sure I put this in record so that this can be on record now. I want so somebody can watch it again and learn. And after that, I send a new link for session two. So this is not going to take more than 12 minutes. So guys, get ready for that one anytime. Um,